There hath no trial or temptation or trouble taken you, but such as is common to all men. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to suffer, to be tempted above that you're able, but will with the temptation or the trial also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Young people today are faced with so many problems, especially peer pressure. Young people are uncertain. They're also under peer pressure. And the hardest word that young people have to say today is the little word, no. Whether it's drugs, whether it's picking up a cigarette, whether it's illicit sex, whatever it is, it's the hardest word. Do you say no when the peer pressure comes? When the hormones begin to rise? When the excitement is there? Yes, we're all tempted. But there's no temptation taken you but what everybody else has had. You say, well, did, did Jesus have temptations like that? Of course he did. He said he was, it says he was tempted in every point like as we are, yet without sin. Because the moment you are tempted, God provides a way to escape. There is a way out. He provides it. But you have to make the decision to go that way. And when you make that decision, the Holy Spirit is there to help you and give you strength and courage. Now the Bible teaches that sex is not a sin. God gave it. It's a gift from God. It's the wrong use of sex that's the sin. God gave you the ability to make love, but within the bonds of matrimony, not outside. Adultery is wrong. That's when two people who are married and then fornication, unmarried people. It's wrong. It's a sin. And I know that the tremendous urge, especially when you see it at every counter where they sell books and magazines, you see it on the television, you see it in the movies, you see it everywhere, and the whole atmosphere is saturated with the idea of sex. How do you say no? I don't believe young people today can say no without Christ. With Christ and with the Holy Spirit giving you supernatural power, you can say no. But I'll tell you it's tough. But the marks of a Christian are self-control and self-discipline. Paul wrote to Timothy and said, keep thyself pure. He said, flee, flee youthful lust, run. When that temptation comes, run. He also said, but I keep my own body under and I bring it into subjection. What about you?